Hello everyone, today we're going over some more advanced with Hero Techniques in UDK for iOS. Now I've gone and grabbed this texture here, and I've grabbed this straight from CG Textures, which is a very good place to get textures from. All the textures here are royalty free and can be used in your games at no charge, as long as you credit CG Textures in your credits. Alright, so I've gone ahead and taken one of these out, and put it into Photoshop. And as you can see, I've just uh, put it as a, in, in, the, in the square. And I've just gone ahead and I'm just going to delete some stuff. Yeah. You see, I've already exported it, but I'll export it again. And we're going to UDK here, and we're going to import that texture. And we're going to put it in a package called. Um, a materials. I'm going to hit create material as well. Okay, now go to the material and to add the material here. You see it's really linked up to the diffuse and it's not working. That's because we're obviously making something for mobile. So we need to go ahead and add the mobile base texture, which is a texture it's going to use in mobile. So that's done. Brilliant, sorted. That's not the whole thing though. So, as you can see, if I got the material and put it onto the static mesh, looks good, but you know, it's still just a flat texture. It can look better than that. So, what we're going to do first thing is turn on specularity. Now, we could we could just well in PC we could just add a specular map, which would be lovely. Unfortunately, it's for mobile, so we've got restraints to work around. So, if we go to specular here. And we tick use mobile specular. And it'll take a few seconds. There we go. Now, as you can see, it's got a little strange map on it, a little tile. And that's because the specular map actually runs straight off of the normal map. Now, I can thank James Tan for teaching me that. Um, basically, you need to have a normal map assigned to give it good specular. Um, now, I could just add a flat normal map. But then it would not look very good. So, in fact, I'm going to generate a normal map and use it as my normals and my specular. So, I'm going to open Crazy Bump, which is a free program for 30 days. Uh, it's the full, full program for 30 days, and you can pay for it if you wish. I'm still within my trial. It's a very, very good program. Um, so, press this button here, and you can open your photograph or whatever. And I'll give you a choice of what you think is better. Now I think the one on the right has more detail, so I'm going to click on that. See, so it's generated this nice normal map, and as you can see, it's had a hell of a lot of detail. So a lot of detail is headed for me. So I'm pretty happy with that. So I'm going to hit save, save normal to file. And it gives it a good suffix on the name as well. So you can go ahead and close Crazy Bomb. So we're going to import that normal file. Just hit OK. We're going to select this material here and go down to mobile normal texture and tick that. And you'll see this all changes. So now you can see we've actually got specularity in the right places and it's also added a normal map so you get a lot more detail out of it. So now when we tick this, you can see this has changed as well. And the one in the game, if I build the lights, it'll just take me one second. Yeah, I'm on simple level. Now, one thing I will say is using things like this is heavily performance trained on an uh, iOS device. So use them sparingly because as soon as you get a lot of these, you'll start to notice that you're getting a lot of slowdown. So that's always something you need to remember. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and play the game. Uh, save these. And of course, it's going to have to press the textures for mobile. So we'll give it a minute while it's doing this. Can take a long time depending on um, the amount of textures you're doing and the, you know, the size of them. These textures are 1024 by 1024, which is pretty standard. Um, feel free to go down low as you can, really. Um, for something like this texture, this is probably about the right size. So wait for this to finish. One thing you should 
try not to do as well is try not to add too much translucency and transparency to your images because iOS doesn't handle them very well, not even at all well. Um, when you have things like translucency, it hates having to render behind the image in a different way because there's a translucent material in front of it. So you get a lot of slowdown. We found that on a game we've been making recently with some friends, um, we had one or two things that had translucency um, that were like in front of particles. So it was having to render particles behind of a translucent surface and it was really slowing the game down. So that's something you should always try and miss. Okay, so now I'm going to set my game mode to UT game. And hit the mobile preview. Now, one, one little artifact you might find is that these materials, you get a strange colour on the other side where the dominant directional light's hitting it. Um, I would advise not to use dominant directional lights on iOS, just try and stick with point lights and direction uh, and spotlights. Because you'll see why. Because you get this madness. As soon as you go around though, it's working fine. The specularity is working. And we turn a flat texture into a, a much higher quality texture with specularity. I'm actually going to go ahead and get rid of that light. So I want to show this effect a bit more. So, turn this game view off. Turn that off. And I'm going to add a light point. And I'm going to add another light point here with a different colour. I can remember where it is. <laughs> Got a red colour there. Okay, I'm gonna then again build the lighting only. There we go. I'm gonna go ahead and play some device now. Mobile preview anyway. Could go ahead and deploy it to your device. So that's that's a better example really. So you can see how the specularity's been hit from this side and from this side with the white light. There's some bleeding off, which is good. So yeah, that's how you can take a flat texture and turn it into some of normal maps, specularity maps. So it's never going to look quite as good as PC, but I mean, you can do as much as you can to um, try and make it look as good as possible. I mean, that does look 3D from like here. It looks like that's actually a model, so that's as good as perfect you can get really for this. So I hope you enjoyed. If you do, please comment, like, subscribe. Up to you. Um, and there's more to come. Thanks.